What's up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video. In this video, we will be looking at the Stradivar Prime. Before we get into the builds, let's take a look at the appearance real fast. And we have here a, oops, wrong one. We have here a uh, Tequila skin, Stradivar Tequila skin. Onto the builds. So when it comes to the builds, I have three builds here. One build for Rivet, and that is the uh, 167 to Critical Chance, 47 to Corpus, and 85 to Cold. Obviously, negative 40 to uh, infest is not a big deal here because since it does slash damage, it can pretty much kill infest, no problem still. Uh, when it comes to the status of cold, apparently this is not that great here. So you might want to combine cold with the uh, with something to get viral, right? I forgot what the element was, but you're going to want to get that viral status. You're going to be having cold status here. But since this build that I have here is particularly for damage and not status and, maybe, and mostly crits, uh, this build is all around her too, so it can kill both Grenier's and Inf Infested, Corpus, Oregon, Senti Sentience maybe. But when it comes to the polarity for this, usually uh, if you guys have a, a river similar to this, you might want to replace Hammer Shot for Prime Cryo Rounds if you want to. Otherwise, the extra critical damage might help a little bit, just by a tad bit. I tested both of these and it seems that Hammer Shot is a little bit better because of the status chance, of course, increase and the critical damage at 7.8 or 7 or at 7. Uh, Critical multiplier, otherwise it's at five, and this is at six. So the seven's pretty nice. So onto the builds that you guys may want to use or might want to use besides this build, because again, this build is all around is for all around factions. However, these builds are made specifically for a specific faction. For instance, if you're going to be fighting against Grenadiers, you want to swap. You're going to go to the Corrosive instead of a of a, a Blast or anything like that. So if you guys are going to fight against like machines and such, you want Blast, Corpus, maybe Magnetic. I'm just kidding. Magnetic is really, really bad. Uh, you know, Viro maybe, if you guys want to. So this is specific for a specific type of enemies. Otherwise, uh, when it comes to this build, it should be great. So this build is made specifically for the semi-automatic, which is the secondary right here. So with this build, you got yourself Hammer Shot here. Now, again, if you guys want to swap out Corrosive, replace Hammer Shot with Prime Cryos and replace Storbringer with the Toxin Status Chance and replace Mag... Um, uh, this this 66 status chance for a different mod. Maybe you want to get uh, increased um, status chance for a cove. So go ahead and put in. Uh, I think it's thermite rounds. No, rhyme rounds. Yeah, you want to put in rhyme rounds for that if you guys are going to be using viral. Otherwise, uh, I use hammer shot here, and it's not that bad. I won't. I won't lie to you guys. This is not that bad. It's not that bad at all. So I'm sure you guys the build on this. Obviously, you guys can swap it out to viral if you guys want. But you got to swap out these three mods, obviously. Now with the excess mod slot, obviously you want visionary supplies because of the critical chance. And with this type of mod, um, build setup, you got yourself at least a 52% status chance, which is great. And then you got uh, critical chance multiplied at 75, 7.8 with the point strike and battle sense. Damage at 1.3, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. And then you got the third build, which is made for the automatic, which is the primary fire mode. And you got similar to what I have on the first build, except it's, except it's more of a status type thing. So you got the viral status chance effect. I'll show you guys uh, the effect it has on the enemies with this and you got prime cry rounds that's a must have affect the clip right here it's pretty much common here so i'm sure you guys the damage on our first build really fast now when it comes to the best damage i would i would recommend the secondary uh of course it's better it's stat wise stat wise is a little bit better than the uh, first one which is the primary now obviously if you guys don't want to uh hurt your hand uh, hurt your fingers a little bit uh, at all uh, you might want to use the primary uh build so you can just hold down the mouse and just keep firing. Otherwise, the secondary build for damage output is best. So, I'm going to show you guys the uh, first build of damage. Just really fast. And no arcanes, no companions. Level 170 heavy gunners, as always. I'm going to show you guys the both firing modes for this. Yeah, not that great, right? Let's try the headshot now. Alright, it's pretty decent. It's not pretty decent. It's decent. Let's try the uh, Samai now. Again, this build is made for all around, so not specific for a specific uh, enemy type. All right, I'm gonna show you the body shot first. Now the Samai does have punch through, as you can see that I actually shot, um, it went through this guy too, so. Secondary fire mode has punch through. Let's try that one more time. So again, you know, not, not made for a specific for these type of enemies, but still pretty decent enough to kill them. So that's why I'm gonna leave this build as this right here. Let's go for the second build here, because obviously you guys won't like the first build. Second build with the automatic, I mean the semi. 
So only made for semi only, so don't use this for automatic. Let's go for the body shots first. Obviously stronger than my first build because I have corrosive on it. It takes a few shots in there. Probably like 10 or 20. 10 15. Let's do headshots. What was that? Okay. So around three to five shots. Let's try that one more time. Let's get a little bit more consistent look. That's five. That's sick. Let's try. Let's keep trying. Let's do one more. I missed the headshots. That's terrible. Okay, one more again. I'm pretty sure you could actually go up to like four shots, but I'm not nailing it. So I would say three to five shots is the most common one. It's three to five shots, I would say. Because I remember testing this and I actually nailed three shots. Maybe I was so lucky with the vigilante supplies. Four shots was a little bit more common, and five shots is pretty much a max. Six shots if you miss your head, uh, headshot, so that's that. Let's go for the third build, and this build is made for the automatic. Alright, so when it comes to this, obviously, again, you guys can use this for Samurai if you want to, since it's made for automatic, but when it comes to this build, usually you guys can always swap out heavy caliber for prime shredder because it makes you faster. They're almost the same in terms of DPS output, but heavy caliber is a little bit more more consistent or a little bit more faster. And that's why I have viral on this instead of corrosive, since you're gonna be firing her a lot. So not bad. Let's try one more time on the headshot. So that's the damage output for this. I'm gonna show you guys Prime Shred real fast for, for those that's pretty interested in. So you guys can swap out heavy cal for Prime Shred. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, example of the damage of this. Now usually when it comes to the Prime Shred, I don't really use this that much at all. But I know that some people like to shoot really fast, so I'm gonna show you guys that. So here's what happens when you guys use Prime Shred. Body shots first. Let's try the headshot now. Obviously, if you nail all your headshots, you get the prime shred effect. I'm going to switch back to heavy caliber again so you guys can see the difference. So if you guys don't have prime shred and, you know, be curious on how which one's better, you guys can just look at this. So I'll try to make it as, as, as many headshots as I can with this build. I mean, with this uh, example here. So let's try the heavy caliber now. So it's almost the same, I would say, except heavy guns a bit better. Obviously, you lose accuracy for this. But you guys can see that it looks it's a little bit... Uh, faster just by like one second or, or so 1.5 seconds but still you know they're almost the same if you guys just don't miss so that's the damage of all three builds those are the three builds that i have for you guys when it comes to fire mode obviously the second one's better the secondary is better because it's a little bit faster but if you guys want to shoot um don't want to hold down, don't want to like click your mouse a lot primary weapon fire mode is best thank you guys for watching hope you guys like this video give it a like if you guys do Hopefully this video helps you guys a little bit on how to make sure out of our uh, prime really good. This is a really good weapon. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to support my channel. Until next time, you guys. Peace out.